You know, you don't have to look too far today to find something to be afraid of, and fear is a paralyzing force. And I was watching the news and uh, listening to the reports of oil prices going sky high and uh, what's going on in Libya and the Middle East. It's just a lot of reasons to look and around and be afraid, but over and over again, what did Jesus say to us? Don't be afraid. Do not fear. And, uh, and that's my word to you today. Don't be afraid. You know, fear paralyzes us, but faith mobilizes us. And I'm telling you that from personal experience. I've had a lot of reason to be afraid. And, and I've woken up some mornings just paralyzed with fear, but it, it doesn't do any good. But faith can mobilize you, and that's what you got to focus on. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think. And I want to share this scripture with you. It says, it's from Isaiah 43. It says, Don't be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. And you can put your name in there. John, Sarah, you are mine. When you go through deep waters and great trouble, I'll be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Oh, what a word of encouragement. When you're going through those storms, when you go through the rivers of difficulty, those waters will not overwhelm you. You're not going to drown. And when you go through the fire of oppression, you're not going to be burned up. Because God is our Savior, and He has already made a way for us. So don't be afraid. Choose faith, not fear. God bless.